Hey guys, how's it going? This is Billy Eat World, and today we're taking a look at the Scar H Assault Rifle. The Scar H is a very popular assault rifle in Battlefield 4, and I can understand why. I personally like it for a number of reasons, but mostly because it's one of the more unique weapons in the game in that it hits much harder than any of the other assault rifles. The Scar H fires the larger 7.62x51mm NATO round, and therefore should really be considered a battle rifle rather than an assault rifle. It's a weapon that I had to get used to, but once I did, I found it to be one of the better weapons in the game. But anyway, let's take a look at the stats and figure out how this gun works. It deals 34 damage out to 8 meters, which drops off to its minimum damage of 25 at 55 meters. This translates into a 3 to 4 shot kill at close range or a 4 to 5 shot kill at long range, which is one shot less than every other AR at all ranges. To balance this out, it fires at a very slow 620 RPM. This doesn't mean that the Scar H can't dish out damage very quickly though, it's a beast at mid-range and will also go toe-to-toe -to -toe with faster firing weapons in close range and even DMRs at long range. Another surprisingly good aspect of the Scar H is the fact that it has one of the fastest reloads in the class. It reloads from empty in only 2.4 seconds and in 1.9 seconds with a bullet still in the chamber. This is pretty important because it only has a 21 round capacity, meaning you'll be reloading often with this weapon. As for the rest of the Scar H's stats, it has a pretty disappointing muzzle velocity of 410 meters per second and a fairly high vertical kick of 0.5. Fortunately, it has a very low balanced horizontal recoil of 0.2 to the left and the right, and one of the lowest first shot recoil multipliers in the class at only 1.6. Combined with its slow rate of fire, this gun is easily controllable and very capable of taking on targets at mid to long range. The muzzle velocity will limit the gun's ability to hit moving targets though, so this is something that you may need to get used to. As for how this weapon performs in game, it's probably best suited for mid range targets. You'll find yourself dropping enemies at this range surprisingly quickly, and you can even switch over to semi-automatic to take out targets beyond this range. I won't say it's devastating in close quarters though, but it will hold its own much like the M416 and the Ace-23 do. At close range, I'd recommend aiming for the head or the chest though, because landing a headshot with this weapon is guaranteed to win gunfights against almost anybody. Due to its low rate of fire, you can actually hold in the trigger for longer bursts with this gun, but remember that maintaining accuracy is one of the most important things to consider when you're using a slow firing weapon with a smaller capacity. Don't think that you can mag dump into everybody and periodically stop firing to let your gun settle before shooting again. You'll find that if you try to do this in every engagement, you'll end up wasting less shots and most likely win more gunfights. So what attachments would I recommend for the Scar H? Well to begin with, there's a few attachments we can rule out straight away. The compensator is not that great with this weapon because it doesn't have an issue with horizontal recoil, and the higher powered optics are probably a little overkill for any assault rifle. Just remember this gun isn't a DMR, so you should be trying to fit out your weapon for mid-range shooting. Even with this gun's first shot recoil multiplier, it still has a pretty decent vertical kick, so a heavy barrel may not be a great choice. On the other hand, you probably shouldn't be trying to control this recoil with the muzzle brake either because it'll just make the weapon less accurate. I normally run with the angled grip and either the flash hider or the suppressor depending on what map I'm playing on. Some people think that you shouldn't use suppressors on guns that already have low muzzle velocities, but the truth is that the nerf to muzzle velocity isn't anywhere near as bad as when you use a suppressor on a gun with a high muzzle velocity. Normally a gun has a high muzzle velocity because it's balanced out with less than average stats in other areas. The reverse of this is also true in the case of the Scar H, so all the suppressor is really doing is making a bad stat a little bit worse. Whereas on a gun like the AUG, the suppressor is a huge nerf to one of the gun's biggest advantages. Personally I find I do better running a stealth playstyle with most assault rifles, and the Scar H just seems to be a perfect fit for this kind of playstyle. As for the rest of the attachments on this gun, I'd steer clear of the laser sight and tack light and edge towards the magnifier. Your focus should be on mid-range combat rather than CQB, so the magnifier is the best option for this. But anyway, to finish up this review, how does the Scar H measure up to the Ace-23 and the other popular all-round assault rifles? Well, I'd say that it's different, but in the hands of an experienced player, it does give them a run for their money. Most people can pick up the Ace-23 and do well with it, but compensating for lead on a target, conserving ammo and bursting a weapon for maximum effectiveness is something that players will need to get down before they can really do well with the Scar H. If you haven't already tried it out though, then give it a go because at the very least you'll enjoy how different this gun is compared to the other ARs. Hopefully in future DLCs we'll see more hard hitting weapons like the Scar H added into the mix, because if this game really could do with anything right now, it's more diversity in weapon stats.
But anyway, guys, that just about wraps it up. And as always, if you like what you see, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please check out all my other Battlefield 4 videos. I've got them all linked in a playlist in the description below. And if you have any suggestions for weapons or loadouts that you'd like to see in upcoming episodes on this channel, then feel free to let me know in the comment section below or send me a tweet on Twitter at BillyEatWorld. But until next time, guys, see you later and have a good one.